So I answer the phone, I'm like, hello, and he's like, my house has been broken into, and I'm like, what? So I've had about a thousand pounds stolen. Uh, your nan's just around me, and your mum's in hospital, and I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, she's had a car crash, and I'm like, so I just start crying, I'm like, what do you mean? Sunday and welcome back to the weekly vlog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've bought, I used to wear this perfume when I was 12 and I couldn't stop thinking about it so I bought it from eBay and it's took me back to a time. If you ever want to know what I smell like it right now, this is it. I don't think I've got a cardigan. I feel like cardigans are the perfect transitional piece for this time of year and I don't think I have one. So I think I'm going to purchase myself a cardigan off line, like a nice thick cream knitted one. For now I'll just put my denim jacket on because it holds everything. We're going to the house. Oh, and yeah, I don't have that much to do in the house to be honest. Um, because I've literally like everything's it's all like building work waiting for Dan so I'm kind of going to be Dan's bitch so I'm just going to put some you are magic gloss we just had a viewing in the house they left a note for the door and said they couldn't get in touch with Connell so I couldn't really say no so we're going to go to our house I've got to do an ad with HelloFresh today um and yeah, washed my hair this morning, fake tan last night. Life feels good, feel fresh. Um, did my makeup, I never have makeup on on Sunday. We're gonna go for a carvery later, and they're coming to finish the stairs today. <coughs> my visual on week three. So, but yeah, see you in a bit. Dan's here this is good because oh. I want to let you know why this vlog is almost a shambles and there's about four days missing we've had a bit of a week haven't we but we're ready to talk about it the, the vibes are good again we've had probably the week from hell we have um so I just wanted to tell you a bit about it so because I want you to know why there is so many days missing in the week so on Tuesday um I'm cooking a hello fresh meal doing an ad you know working away and Dan 
um, <laughs> Dan's like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, the chicken's not in there. And he's like, oh, I'm going to have to go to Tesco. I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, I want to go to the house anyway. So I'm like, okay, great. I, said, I had to get my tools for my job because I had a job booked in on Wednesday, a boiler change on Wednesday. So all of my tools have been left at the house. My fucking house should be secure and safe. Anyway. You're ruining it. Sorry, right, carry on, carry on, carry on, Just carry on. Don't get carry too on. upset. Well, people kind of know anyway, but. So, Dan's like, actually, I'll get bring you the chicken first so you can carry on cooking, and then I'll go back to the house, because it's not far from where we live currently. And I was like, yeah, brilliant. So I'm waiting for him, and then he already rung me again to ask me what chicken to get. So I thought, if he's going to ask me something about Tesco, I'm going to go mad. So I answer the phone, I'm like, hello, and he's like, but the house has been broken into, and I'm like, what? And I'm expecting a laugh, you know, I'm expecting, ha <laughs> no, no laughs. And he's like, the door's been like, broke, like kicked in, like smashed in, like my stuff's gone. And I'm like, right, are you joking? And he's like, no. So he's like, I'm going upstairs. And I'm like, right. And I'm like, he's like, I'm gonna ring the police. I'll speak to you later. So I'm like, right, grab Rory. Tried to turn the hob off, left the rice in the pan, off I went, grabbed Rory, and then, like, as soon as I got into the house, like, it just felt freezing because the door had been kicked in and it was the evening, like, it just felt cold in there, didn't it? It felt yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah. And, like, when Dan tried to get in. They, like, so yeah, I got there about, like, quarter past seven, wasn't there? About seven ish, yeah. Um, so it was starting to get a little bit dark outside, so I thought, right, I just quickly grabbed my tools, so I'm ready for the morning. And I put the key in the door and unlocked it. And as I opened it, like there was a cardboard. So I've got loads of plasterboard sheets in there at the moment because I'm like reboarding and things like that. So there's plasterboard sheets like right, right behind the front door, but like to the side. So you can still open it. But these had to put. Sorry, can't swear. Can I like that? Can I? I don't know. Anyway, these. Yeah, these people. Um, put a cardboard box behind the front door so as I op open the front door the cardboard box hit against the passport sheet as like it was almost like a barrier so I had to really like push my way and I thought this is weird I'd um one of my circular saws with a battery on the floor next to it the battery had been taken out of that but the circular saw had been left so I thought that's weird but I had my electrician there during the day so I didn't know if he'd have used my batteries because we used each other's batteries and tools and stuff like that so I thought he might have just put it somewhere else in the house. Um, a bit weird, but you know, started walking towards the back of the house where the, back, the kitchen and the bathroom is, and I saw this pair of green garden shears on my pop up in the bathroom. I was like, well, we don't garden. We do not garden. <laughs> We've never garden. We don't plan on it. I've never seen those shears in my life. So as I was walking through the kitchen towards them, looked down at the back door. And this fucking part of the door is on the floor. I'm like, fuck, that's what's happened then. So all of my Dewalt tools um, were underneath the bath in the bathroom, out of sight. You know, I don't leave them on show. No one will be able to see it now. You can't see through the back door. Exactly. No, got a the gate. Only, the only way you would be able to see them is if you were in our house yeah, and, we, know them yeah. and, and, and have a look for them. They were underneath the bath. So I'm thinking, fuck's sake, this is brilliant. So I've had about... A thousand pounds stolen of tools. It wasn't quite as much as I thought, but it's about a grand's worth of kit. It's in the principle, isn't it? Yeah. We need a new back door um, because the decided to smash you can't, it. I don't know if you, I think I might get demonetised if you say that. Okay, I'll say it again. The you can say to at, so I expect. I don't think there's a strong enough word other than that. So we'll just call the them, CUNTs. Yeah, the CUNTs um, smash the back door, and so now we need a new back door yeah like prize, prize that lock on our gate yeah and like like you know they'd been upstairs in the bedroom in the like cupboard and like they'd had a right good look around and it luckily, just, yeah nothing sort of personal well there was nothing touch. personal there so it's one of them it's like it's been proper it was proper shit yeah um so yeah so basically oh and can i can i just say something about the police well, we're not at that part yet. Okay. You've just jumped ahead the whole story. This is why I explain things. Okay, let's carry on. Right, so we got there. Dan's rung the police. Dan's speaking to the neighbour once I get there. And he saw a white transit. And he said, because we've had so many tradesmen in out, blah, blah, blah. Like, he didn't think anything of it, rightly so. So, just after the electrician went, there was a man, two men, like a younger lad and an older man. The older man was in the car, like, looking round. Uh, the younger lad was in the car. 
He said the older man was looking around in the driver's seat and the younger one was going in and out. Sure. 100%. Sure. Okay. So the younger lad, because the older man was driving, he was going to and fro the house and into the van, obviously taking Dan's stuff. So that they're the culprits. And now we've thought about it, Dan not seen this white van, and so have my nans, like, slowed down by the house. They've obviously been watching us, which makes me feel sick. Anyway, we called the police. Well, Dan called the police. It's like, they're on the way. And then we're sat in the car, we're talking to the neighbours, blah, blah, blah. And it's, like, half twelve, like, and we're, like... The police still aren't here. Like, I've got to get up at half five for work, blah, blah, blah. So we ring them all, like, don't bother coming if you're not going to come. You know, they hadn't even sorted a time or a copper out or whatever. So we were like, just, we won't touch anything. Come tomorrow, didn't we? Yeah, I just put a couple of, because um, we had the kitchen unit, I put a couple of the kitchen unit doors up against the hole and just to stop, you know, anyone thinking about trying it again if they did. Just, you know. Yeah. So we'll go in chronological order. So I go to work the next morning. Well, you know, we're feeling a bit like, because of our house has just been broken into, we haven't even had it two weeks, blah, blah, blah. And then, I'm so confused what that ambulance is doing. So then, Dan's like, Dan texts me, but I don't see it. And then he comes into work, my work, and he's like, can I borrow you a minute? And I'm like, gosh, this is weird. Like, I knew he was ringing the police, but he didn't need to speak to me. And he's like... Uh, your nan's just around me and your mum's in hospital and I'm like what and he's like yeah she's had a car crash and I'm like so I just start crying I'm like what do you mean and yeah so my mum was in a car crash and something like swerved in the road and she swerved and went into a wall and flicked her car so yeah so then that's something else so I was really upset went home from work and then blah 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 upset vibes speak to my nan they're on the way to Yeovil and then basically the forensics come yeah. um they're like blah 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 the he was like yeah the police will be here sooner rather than later because it's a forced entry and next door has a camera pointing our way so we're pretty but they're weirdos so they don't answer the door when we knocked on the wednesday or tuesday night did they yeah because they're freaks so yeah i can i can't like i know they're not gonna watch it are they i can say whatever i want okay. they are weirdos um so yeah, so they didn't knock on the door even though they were in and the TV was on. No, rightly, rightly so, I hope they do watch it. And then, um, stupid people. Anyway, so what, what, what part of the story are we at? Oh yeah, we say like, look, we think someone might have CCTV and like it over, it like laps itself, doesn't it? After yeah, a certain time, so we're worried time. about it, you know, going. Um, and he's like, yeah, a copper will come sooner rather than later. Doesn't come. And then that night, because I'm like worried about my mum, blah, 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 like the, her face is pretty messed up, like they're saying, I, we go down to Yeovil for the night. So we leave about half four, get there at like eight. Yeah. It was an awful journey. We, like, all the roads were closed in Somerset. And then my mom, you know, saw my mum, like her face was really bad, blah, blah, blah. And then we drove all the way back, got back at like half one. Yeah, half one. Half one. So it was a really long night. Got up the next day and we're just back at the house, you know. It, it was just a weird... It was a weird vibe. And so the I, police still haven't come. Oh Yeah, I rung the police on first and, like, I said to them, I said, we've still not had a copper here yet. We've, we've been burgled. Someone's been in our house and you've still not been. And there's CCTV. There's a witness to it. Like, I, what are you doing? Yeah. And, and the lady on the phone said, well... A cop has still not even been assigned to your case yet. So we've been burgled and a cop has still not been assigned. And it's assigned. not an emergency, I know that. Like, well, no one was in danger, but still, someone has forced entry into a house. It's still a crime, it's still a theft. And the fact that there's evidence there, they left the pair of garden shears, there's CCTV pointing on our house, there's a witness. Like, you would think that the, all these things would add up to, you know, a strong case for a copper to be like we might actually be able to try and track these people down but they're absolutely useless and I know it ain't the police fault it's the government's fault but I mean come on like instead of sitting there trying to catch someone do 33 and a 30 start doing some proper work yeah like, look, that day I saw a copper just sat in his car looking at cars go by and I thought you're just fucking sit there on the space. side of the road doing fuck I know you have someone something. no but I know you have like the thing is they have someone telling them what to do so it like, that, that's the problem that, it comes yeah. back all, always comes back to the government the government's the issue because that passes down so 
I'm not saying it's individually their fault, but I'm, what I'm saying is yeah, these are the cases, aren't you, exactly. Right? These are the cases that they should be looking at, thinking, right, let's go get these, because tool theft is not treated seriously enough. I've been done before, and they got it back. Thank God. That was only on a bit of luck, but this is the second time. And people always say, take your tools into the house because they're safe there. Don't leave them in your van. I don't leave them in the van. I leave them in the house. It gets robbed. Like, what the fuck am I meant to do? I don't know. So, yes. Where are we going? Or should we just go to this one? Well, you, you've not gone to the normal place? I have, it's down there, babe. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's been a bit of a rough week. Um, we're grateful that we're safe and we're grateful that, um, you know, Dan's in a position where we can buy his tools back and we're in a position where my mum's alive, she's well, our family's well. So that's the main thing. These things are sent to test you. So, and things happen for a reason. So life is, life is, we feel happier again now. Like we felt really down, rightly so, for a few days. Um, but we're feeling better now. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys why I wasn't vlogging Obviously, I didn't feel like it and Just be careful like you never know who's watching you You never know who's around and also just appreciate your loved ones around you because you never know that like, life can literally be taken away from you in seconds and you just don't know what's around the corner like if you were to say oh next week Mia your mum's going to be in a car crash and your um, house is going to get broken to I'd be like oh right you, you wouldn't I wouldn't believe it you just wouldn't believe it so yes so on with the rest of the vlog that was a little disclaimer back onto the normal week because we've been doing a lot in the house the last couple of days so yeah back to not future Mia, what is it, past Mia. Bye bye.
Drop the gallery open to ten for you and your friends. You know how I spend in H O U S T O N. I get too crazy, had a little bad enough. We stay good friends, we get too crazy. All I know is that when this cup ends, the next one begins. My babe, you know me, and you know me back then. And you know how it goes when I see you again. You know I'm making my way to your ends, and you know I need you to be there for me. You a little poso baby, you a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in her pocket, she gon' take off like a. You already know. Dirty up a couple on the north side. Text you, but I know you probably caught sight. No, I gotta come and check the old man, baby. Hold tight. I just touch the city with the cheap block stainers, and we got it dotted by some fit for strangers. You know what it means when I twist these fingers. Me and you being on a first name basis. Why you think I hate it when you talk that Drake shit? Same reason that you never left me hanging. Same reason that I tried to make you famous. Same reason that I tried to show you just who I was. Outside of the club, outside the things that a man like me does. Outside of the things that would cause you to judge. Outside of the club, show you just who I was. Outside of the club, outside the things that. Did some damage today, guys. I went shopping by myself, and this is why I shouldn't go. I also ordered a bit dark in here. One sec. Oh, that's cute. I also ordered this back wrap root from. Oh, you can't even see me. From TikTok shop. And it came, and it's twenty five pound. Oh my god and it smells insane so good so good obsessed camera's gonna go but camera's gonna die <laughs> How good is this lip combination? Obsessed with it. You make moves by You Glow and Grimmel Cappuccino. Obsessed. The best gloss. Period. I created the best gloss. What the hell? Mm -mm -mm. Just had a bath, took my makeup off, and just changed into basically the same fit. And I'm gonna go for Toby Carvery. So excited! She wanna run me down. Good morning, happy Saturday. So I'm just getting ready. I've got a nail appointment at 11. What time is it? 9:54. I'm just getting ready. Dan's gone to get us some breakfast and gone to screw fix. Um, but I've just had a boohoo package. So I thought we could do it together. I know what it is, it's just two tracksuits. I bought them last night. I literally ordered them at like 11 o'clock last night. And they came this morning, which is amazing. So, what I wanted, I wanted a brown tracksuit. And I've wanted this tracksuit for literally ages. I'm praying it fits me. Okay, usually boohoo tracksuits are pretty safe, but um, just big pair of brown joggers. They've got official down the side because I feel like I needed a chocolate tracksuit because the one that I did have that's old, I used to paint and strip wallpaper in and it hasn't come out. Um, and then it's just a big hoodie. I'm hoping it like fits really nice. Um, and then I've got a grey one because yes I've got a lot of grey but I don't have a lot of matching grey sets and there was a code on oh this feels soft so I thought do you know what let's just order it it's so plain 
Um, it literally has official hair. No, it doesn't. It says a pleasure. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and hoodie here too. And I'm going to take the drawstring out because I've gone off them. A pleasure. Really nice, really big, really soft. Just the vibes that I was wanting. Um, I've got wallpaper. Oh, I'm just trying to see my mirror. I've got wallpaper all in my hair. Um, because I got all the coving off the other day. Um, so I look like an absolute state. Today's plans is take my IKEA packs wardrobe drobe out and then put it in my like the new house just one of them because obviously i'm not living there so i don't want to take all my clothes um so then we've got have i got my brush here yeah so then we've got like an idea of what we're doing because i want to start building my wardrobe room but then like obviously i can't my hair is disgusting it's obviously greasy because I'm on day, I'm on day seven, but can you see that? Let me go closer up. That is just wallpaper and like coving and plasterboard and God knows what else. How am I going to get that out so I don't look like a scutter today? I don't know is the answer. I really don't know. Do I wear a cap? Or... Oh my god, I look like I've got severe dandruff. That is embarrassing, isn't it? Oh no, that is... Um, like, it is... Yesterday wasn't as bad, but like there's literal wallpaper everywhere. Okay, right, we're gonna have to wear a cap. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, so last night I went to Toby Carvery and it was really nice. Um, but while we've been renovating, like we haven't been the healthiest. So like, we've been better, like we've been eating at home more, but like I don't know, like it's so hard like when you're on the go. We really I really find like my personality, I really find it hard to balance things out like when I'm really really focused on one thing I really struggle to focus I like balance everything out I don't know if anyone else is like that like all my eggs are like in one basket if that makes sense um so yeah I haven't been the best at nutrition but that's okay we're working on it me and Dan are gonna start eating like when just after New Year's Eve and um, we're really really clean when we both had Covid um so I think we're gonna try and plan out some healthy meals and just try and get back because it's not nice like it's fine sometimes like it's fun to eat unhealthy but when you do it like it's not even unhealthy i'm making it sound like we have mcdonald's every day like we do like ball things come out well that's sad um so yeah and i don't even know what i was saying anyway so we're trying to gonna try and eat, get a little bit more back on track um i'm just going to my lip convo is in the bathroom to put some lip oil on <sighs> right i don't know what to have on my nail still Also, guys, Sid announced that she was pregnant last night. What the hell? I can't believe that. Like, I didn't expect Sid to be pregnant for, like, years. Like, she just, like, struck me as one of them people. Like, I can't believe it. I'm very happy for her, though. Um, yeah, I can't imagine her pregnant. Like, I don't know. I just can't believe it. I was, like, shocked. Me and Jodie were texting, like, oh, my God. Mad. Anyway, so I'm stuck between this like i kind of like that 
and I kind of like this too. I'm craving something simple for once because I've had so much bright. I wish you were here right now to tell me. Okay, let's put a cap on, some earrings. I don't know if I suit the cap, but I can't go out of the house with that dandruffy shitty head. Mm, annoying. Right, let's go and get a cap. shopping and I got a couple of bits but not enough for like a big haul so these are definitely going to be too big for me I believe but I wanted some like cool baggy suit trousers and these were such nice quality they were reduced to £13 and I just really really liked the colour of them I thought like the perfect in between grey and nude colour so I really really liked those I then picked up oh hang on this jumper and you know by now I'm obsessed with stripes and the quality of this is absolutely insane. So it says, says Studio Serenity, but I just really, really, really liked it. I'm obsessed with it. I just think it will look really, really cool on me. And I don't know, I, I don't know. I just love stripes. I really, really like it. And it's so soft. And yeah, I just love it. If you know or like follow any designer trends, you'll know Balenciaga do literally this exact shoe but in like different colours and it says Balenciaga on it well I saw these and it's honestly the same material so I thought these were so cute I feel like I could genuinely style these up £18.99 so a little bit pricey but I just really liked them I think that let me try them on I think they could look really cute on the toe with my little French toes picking oh my god they look cute like I, I'm kind of tempted to wear them now oh I nearly slipped ignore the mess but hang on, how cute do they look? I think they look so, so nice. They're so comfortable and they're like quite tight, which is nice, like they won't slip off your feet. I really, really like those. I just filmed a Primark call, got my nails in an hour and I'm gonna head out to the house and film the drop. <laughs> For fuck's sake, maybe cut the string off before you start walking around. And then last but not least, Oh no, she's left the tag on it. That's so annoying, I'm gonna have to go and get that taken off, aren't I? Oh, for God's sake. Um, this is a big maroony red hoodie. It was literally 16, 17.99, which I thought was such good value. Extra large, just big, cool. I feel like this is such a cool color for autumn winter. Just gave me like a boyfriend vibes. Just really, really liked it. Um, I can't believe the tags on it, they're so annoying. But, yes, my little locket, I need to keep that safe. I'm gonna head to the house now and film the try on clips, get my nails done. So here's a before I forget to show you, I probably won't, I'll probably vlog in the car, but here's the nails. So they overdo a change, love ya. Off to get my nails done. I'm back from my nail appointment. I'm freezing. I'm just put the heater on. I'm just gonna have some water and get out of my car. Oh. I've got a bright mark. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna Some foundation. Come here. Hello. Did you miss me? I missed you. Foundation. I don't know how much of a difference I'm going to be able to make. But 
and I'm just going to do my hair and then finish my try and clips and then we're going to go to the gym and I'm not. <laughs> you freak! <laughs> you freak! <laughs> I saw you in the corner of the camera! <laughs> you freak, man. You scared the shit that out of me. That is so funny, bro! You scared the shit out of me, bro. That is so funny! I was just telling them. <laughs> So we're going, well, I'm going back to the gym. Dan has been a couple of times, haven't you? Do you fucking mind? Um, yeah, I've been a bit. I've been a bit. A little bit. Not that much. No, nah, not a lot. But don't that like you that much better than me? No, I'm not. He just misses the gym more than me. I don't miss it at all. Yeah, I do miss it. Um, so, yes, I'm scared. We're going to go and do a leg session. We're just going to ease ourselves back in, you know, just... I so did legs last Saturday and it was absolute torture. So I'm thinking, were you aching? Aching? You didn't moan. No, because I know I don't get any sympathy from you. That's true. You don't deserve any. I'm in this life. True. Um, Soldier. Oh, Christ. <laughs> see see how you know. edgy I feel. <laughs> My hair is literally stiff from plaster. But can you believe I curled that a week ago? And it's still got a curl to it. It's looking good. Um, what is he doing? What were you saying? Um, I've got to let those towels set so I can't really do much more. Um, I'll, well, I just want to try on my um, things from the hall. Yeah. And then I'm ready to go. Okay. Well, I'll um, take some stuff and skip them. Why are you finished now? Finished the time, yeah. Okay. I, I don't want to take my level away with, without the tiles being fully set. Will you um, and put that stuff at the bottom of the stairs in the bin? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I've just got a couple of things to try on. And then we'll go. I'm really hungry. I don't know what to wear to the gym. I haven't been in so long. I really don't want to go, guys. I've got to get back into the routine, though. I've been going for walks and stuff every day, but not any, like, high-intensity stuff, which is obviously the best for burning calories. the cap on for everything because it's not going to go with everything in the try and hold so I was clever and brought my makeup with me does that look okay you have a pretty slick rick so glad I did my tan last night now I don't have to worry about it so I'm going to do my try and haul and all lips you make moves you glow offs um, how nice is it to just have like such a light space this room is so light it's so perfect for filming and for like content I can't wait until there's wardrobes and stuff in here um, I was going to do it like today or tomorrow but then I thought I'm not going to stop brushing it um, because I don't want to be without clothes either so I'm just going to wait a little bit I think until we're like, ready to move in and um, so I'm going to hopefully it's being plastered soon so I'm going to um, focus on painting downstairs so I'm just waffling speak to you a bit for you and your friends, you know how I spend in H-O-U-S-C-O-N I get too crazy, had a little bad enough We stay good friends, we get too wavy All I know is that when this cup ends, the next one begins My babe, you know me, and you know me back then And you know how it goes when I see you again You know I'm making my Way to your ends, and you know I need you to be there for me. You a little post, so baby. You a little 48, baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gon' take off like a. You already know. Dirty up a couple on the north side. Text you, but I know you probably caught side. No, I gotta come and check the whole man, baby. Hold tight. I just touched the city with the cheap block stainers. And we got adopted by some fit for strangers. You know what it means when I twist these fingers. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm just getting ready, and I thought I would round up the vloggy. I'll show you my nails. I think they look cute. I just wanted something really simple for once because I usually go crazy. Um, I had them cut so they were like stronger. One sec. There we go. 
um, so they look much better. I've always just lying on my new tracksuits, which is nice. <laughs> These, <laughs> you're a monkey, you are. Um, I'm just getting ready for the day because I don't know. I've been getting ready like every day almost recently, and it isn't. I don't like doing it, but I've got you know, and you've got a lot to do, and you don't want to look ugly for not ugly for it because that's not the right word, but you're not you're like you want to look put together. Like, I've just got a lot of content to get and things like that, so it is what it is. Dan should put me some breakfast up in my yakult, so I'm just gonna have my yakult now. What's that thing called under your tongue? That stringy thing. It's really sore. I wake up and it feels really swollen. I don't know why. And I've got a yogurt bowl for breakfast. And it's got chia seeds, honey. It's like fruit and nut mix. Grapes. And then like one square of lint 70% dark chocolate. Um, I don't know why. There's either dried orange in there, or whatever it is. It tastes like chocolate orange. Dem. Dem. You can't hear me. Are you calling me? Yeah. Doesn't it taste like chocolate orange again? There's orange in the fruit and nut mix. Is that the culprit? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. <laughs> when we were doing it yesterday, we were like, what the hell is that? Look, it smelled like chocolate orange. And I love chocolate orange. And I was like, gosh. And then when I was eating it, it just tasted just like it. And I was like, wow. We didn't know if we got the wrong chocolate, but there's dried orange. So that's so yummy. Such a good trick, guys. So, so there's dried orange, dried raisins. I thought they were cranberry or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to go to the gym this morning. My legs are aching from yesterday. I included a small little clip of the leg session. Um, so we did that. I'm going to um, go and pick up my Beauty Works parcel from Home Base. I'm going to go to the house. I've got content to film. I've been filming it in my little room that I was in yesterday. Um, I've washed my hair and it feels amazing. I put my hair mask in last night. I don't know if I showed you. Um, one sec. I do the food shop I don't know if we're going to do it online or I don't know if we're to do it online or because I love Audi but the only thing that stresses me out about Audi is that you never know what's going to be in there like you can't go in there saying you 100% want chicken katsu bites because they might not be there I've saw them once and I haven't seen them again and I just I don't know, I'm going to do my shopping on Asda this week and just see how much it comes to plan my meals out, like do it properly and see what we're looking at. Um, but yeah. Hopefully this week will be more positive than next week. I'm going to put on my hair products, I'm going to put on my gym stuff, go to the gym, come back, put on maybe one of my new Boohoo tracksuits. And then we're going to my nan's for dinner at five, I think. Yeah, five o'clock. So, yes, I'm not going to ramble for too long. Sorry, this wasn't the best weekly vlog, but it was. I'm just. Oh my god, can you see that? I was just choking on that. <laughs> um, it is what it is, like, it's been a rubbish week. But onwards and upwards. Hope you enjoyed. Love you so much. I'm going to continue getting ready because I look like a rat. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Can we believe I've actually remembered to end a weekly vlog? Round of applause if you're still here, bye.